Hello, Tula here. I managed to ruin my nibs and I wanted to show you. I put them for 24 hours in a, in a window cleaner blue liquid. This is um, some sort of Israeli brand. There is no list of uh, ingredients here. No warning of acidity. I don't know really what happened. I've been using using this sort of cleaner for a long time. You might have seen me use it in this little spray bottle. I usually spray a bit on a paper towel to clean the nibs of uh, ink residue. And I started doing this because I saw, I wish I remembered who gave this tip, I'm sorry, it was long ago and I can't remember. And this lady said that she, once in a while she soaks, the, um, she soaks the nibs in a window cleaner and it cleans them up, but apparently my cleaner has some sort of acid material in it and you can see you can see the um, the rust that has set in here I think the maroon nib is alright and this one I ruined by um, you see the dark spot at the top, the tip. Oh, look, look inside. My God. This one I ruined before using it. I put it over a lighter and I killed the, the tip. So, <laughs> I have no alternative method, but I thought I should um, warn you watch out for window cleaning liquids. If anybody has a solution for this, I would love to, to know what I can do to save my nibs, if at all, or stop the decay anyway. And maybe you can help other people as well. Thank you. Bye. So these are my rusted nibs. I'll try to save them see what I can do. I thought I will start with um, WD-40. This one is not exactly WD-40. Rustolite. Rustolite. This is to release against um, rust, removes rust from pl plumbing materials. I'll try one with this. I took one of my nibs and started cleaning the rust off it just with a bit of water. Start with water. See, it's coming off. Okay, let's get a clean towel. I start with. I have a feeling about the, the WD-40. I tend to call it DW. Hope you can
can see better like this. Let's see. Okay. The rust is being removed. It's getting a shine on it. Can I get you closer? Yes. So I'll probably get off camera a lot. So I apologize ahead. Maybe a bit further. Wow, a lot of rust coming out. I didn't even see it here. Look. I'm trying to be both careful of the tines and get into the crevices. And I think I should let them remain with the oil a little bit for a while. So maybe I'll look into them tomorrow and see how I how this worked. I don't know a lot about rust, but I have this notion that it's um, contagious, that it keeps spreading and may go from one nib to another. Okay, I think this is one. Let's take another one. I'm going all in. <laughs> Oh, look. Oh, 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 my poor nips. What have I done to you? Such abuse. I'm sorry. I only wanted to treat you well to give you a nice good clean. Kindness done in ignorance. For the rose as well. There. <laughs> well, at least the rust is coming off, right? If this cleaning works. I think, of course, I'm going to stop using the um, window cleaner. What I'll do from now on, if this if this works, is I'll um, I'll use water to for quick cleaning between dipping and after working and maybe once in a while do this treatment I don't like being too finicky about them of my nibs but I don't want to neglect them either when I'm cleaning the bottom part the one that goes into the holder is where I have to be most careful because then my fingers are on the tines 
and you can maybe see that I'm really trying not to touch and not put any pressure on the tines so I don't ruin them because then getting the rust off will be unnecessary as I will ruin my nib <laughs> I can't stop the movie, my hands are oily, I don't want to touch the camera so I invite you to stay with me until the the recording stops by itself. 